good night, Ed. All right, so here's Milo again. I got it backed up on here because I'm going to work on the linkage. But today, I want to work on something super simple. Um, other than probably cleaning this place out. It's over here. If you notice, my seat belt has died. Okay. Oddly enough, it still works just like this. It just doesn't have the pretty cover on. Seatbelt still goes, still holds. But that's just waiting for a little kid to get his finger pinched. So I'm going to show you how to replace this. This is going to be the easiest thing ever to swap out. Alright. First off, flip this thing up, of course. I'm going to go over here. Flip this thing. Yeah. Now, if you look under here, if you want to save your knuckles, clean this out before you do it. That way when... The, when you're using the wrench, you don't smash your fingers into that. I'm going to be lazy and not do it. But make sure you know which one's which, okay? And uh, for me, it's this one. I need to swap this out. So that's what I'm going to do. And for that, I'm going to use a wrench. I do not keep up with the sockets that I use the most. So right now, this is an 11 16th. More than likely, up under there, that's an 18 or a 17 millimeter but this will work just fine all right uh, it's a tiny bit loose but I did find my 19 millimeter and it was too big so all you do is back it up off of here Ooh. and once again you break your knuckles because you were too lazy to take this stuff out back that up all the way and it's gonna be a that's another good reason why to clean this thing out. It's because you can actually make a full turn with a crescent. And once you back that out, you just swap it off. So let's see what I'm going to swap it out with. Over here is the culprit. This I got from Go Westy. Uh, as you can see, the number and everything. It basically just replaces the thing that's broken. Um, I don't know if you can get it any simpler than that. All right, so this is the buckle. It's got the bend away from where it's screwing in, which makes sense. I'm gonna put this in, so let's follow the bolt all the way to its home. I'm gonna go. Yeah, so see, that's where you're going for it. So you just screw that in. Now, back it up a little bit. Make sure you get that thread just right. And then, it's not gonna hand tighten the whole way, which is probably good that it won't loosen but, you know this is designed to save your life so uh just tighten that in make sure it's good and tight and uh go from there 